And as you and Lee mentioned, this river, it has gone down significantly here over the last couple of hours. Now, when we last updated it, that monitor stage was around 14 and a half feet. Phil mentioned it at 6 o'clock. It was short of 16 and a half needed to flood. But again, even though this has significantly dropped here over the past couple of hours, we're still not in the clear yet. And that's why many residents here in the county are ready in case this river does gush over. In Paradise Park, when it rains, it's a game of wait and see with the San Lorenzo River. If this opens up and we have a downpour for a solid hour, a torrential, this will be flooding like right in this area right in here, the, the low spots in the park, without a doubt. Jackie says the park has flooded at least a dozen times over the past 20 years. And in that time, there's been one man who's been prepared for nearly all of them. <laughs> it works. <laughs> So far, it works. Edward Seamus bought his Paradise Park home on the river back in 2000. At first, when the storms would come through, his stomach would turn. You couldn't sleep. And the water come up in the street, you don't know where it's going to stop. Now watching this river has become his yearly routine. After I was here about four or five years, I started thinking of what I needed to do. He would spend the next several years trying to become an expert of judging the river. First, he needed to be able to see it from his deck. Yeah, that's my light. That light I put up, that light, so, that bulb has been in there for 20 years. Can you imagine that? Then he added these sticks to monitor the river's water level daily. It's not scientific, but it gives me a gauge of how far it's gone. See, it's already gone down from here to there in the last hour. Finally, he put up these floodboards strategically around his home, adding a sump pump as a last resort. He says he's only been tested once. And that was in... Uh, 2017. February 17th, the water was right here, all the way around the house. Better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Yeah, and the river is looking pretty good right now. It's dropped several feet over the last couple of hours. However, I spoke with Lee before the newscast, and he did say there is an expected high tide tomorrow morning. So if we do get some rain overnight, it's definitely going to be an area to watch here. Aaron. All right, thank you, Christopher. And we are going to keep, uh, continue to keep a close eye on the San Lorenzo River. Action News reporter Phil Gomez will be live from the river tomorrow morning on Action News Sunrise beginning at 5 a.m.